So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download and install brushes on Photoshop CS5, but this will this method will work on any version of Photoshop because it's pretty much the same on everything. So first thing you want to do is go to brusheasy.com and I will post a link to this in the description. But there's there's other websites you can find if you like some better, but this is just the one I use because it has thousands of brushes for Photoshop and Illustrator. So um, then you click brushes, and depending on what you want, you can search for brushes. Like say you wanted a fire brush to make a fire effect. You just search fire, and then here is an assortment of brushes that you can get. So let's see that's just stock photo that's an ad so let's say you wanted a fire effect like this like a hand-drawn fire so then you can download the file save the file and they will usually come in zips um, but the real file that you want is the brush file inside so once you've downloaded it you can close your internet and locate where your file was downloaded to and then you can extract it using your computer's built-in extracting software so then you can you'll get this folder that comes with all of the things that you downloaded in the zip file and there's a PSD to show you what it actually can do and then there's an ABR file, which is the brush file. So, to if you want these to always be where your other brushes are in Photoshop, you can locate uh, where your brushes are stored. So if you want your brush to be located where all of your other brushes are normally located in Photoshop, where you're going to want to go is open up your Photoshop CS5 folder that has uh, where your program is and all of the files like this and then you're going to want to go to presets and then brushes and this is where all your brushes are kept so you can just open up the fire one again and drag your ABR file into here where there will be the fire brush so I usually try to rename mine because I just like the simple name like fire because it's easier to find and then you can go ahead and delete this and let's go look at it in Photoshop so once we're in Photoshop I will show you guys this uh, brush I've just downloaded I'll call it fire test and oops new fire test and click OK so this will just make a new blank document and then to load your brush that you have just downloaded and installed you once you're on your brush you click your brush um, icon and then click this arrow to bring down your brush settings and these are all brushes that I've downloaded in the past lightning and a bunch of assorted brushes so what I usually like to do when I load a new brush is just click this click this play button and then go to reset brushes and that will reset them to the default so you don't have all the extras so then you go you click the play button again and you go to load brushes and this will bring up your brushes folder now if you didn't decide to put your brushes or your downloaded brush in where all your other brushes are you're going to want to just locate where you've downloaded them to and locate the ABR file uh, that might be somewhere else on your computer so say if it was on your desktop you just click desktop and then locate the ABR file but I put the fire.abr in this folder so I'm gonna click that and then you click open and as you can see it uh, it opened up these a uh, couple new options down here so this is a fire brush that I've downloaded and it comes at a preset size that they think will work best but you can resize using your bracket keys 
or click this and change the size manually. So I'm using black so it'll make a black flame. That's pretty cool. I like that brush. Uh, if you wanted some red maybe, click that. Maybe a little orange or yellowish color. And some orange. So yeah, that I mean it's pretty cool fire. You can mess around with them. Uh, you can download as many brushes as you want. Make sure to check if the brush is free of use or if you need to pay them if you want to use it in a logo you're making or something along the lines of that that's going to be sold for profit because some people don't allow their brushes to be used in an item that you sell and make money off of. So that's just something to keep in mind. So next video I will be showing you guys how to install fonts for the text tool and that's another useful thing because normally or a lot of the time there's fonts that they don't have preset in Photoshop that you might want so for this one I downloaded a font called Minecraft which is just a kinda 80's retro blocky texture so if I typed Photoshop it would look like that so yeah there's a bunch of different fonts you can use and I will be showing you guys how to do that next video please comment rate and subscribe tell me if this helped you and be sure to ask any questions if you don't know what I'm talking about or if you got lost somewhere. Alright, thanks.